Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Hello, everyone. We'll now present today's Indie World Showcase and Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase back to back. First up, here's the Indie World Showcase. Uh. World. I'm Amber. And I'm Andrew. We're back with more indie games headed to the Nintendo Switch system. All right, it's time to lay our cards on the table. Sure thing. Wait, why is there a Joker in my hand? Here's the deal. Cards, <laughs> Joker. I hate portals. Oh, they're doing a Witcher collab. And a vampire survivor. Oh, we're pulling out all the collabs. Hola, som no de estudio, l'equip darrere de Gris i ara el pròxim joc neva. El nostre joc és una història de maternitat on els jugadors assumeixen el rol de l'alba. Començaran la seva aventura al costat d'una petita lloba anomenada Neva. Els capítols inicials del joc mostraran com l'alba haurà d'encoratjar i protegir una jove neva dels perills del seu món. Però al final del joc, una neva més gran i ferotge es convertirà en la protectora de la seva figura materna, l'alba. El equipo ha estado trabajando duro para mostrar una conmovedora perspectiva sobre cómo quienes nos protegen eventualmente necesitarán nuestro cariño y cuidados también. Estamos encantados de poder compartir las últimas novedades del juego y esperamos que os unáis a Alba y Neva en su aventura en Nintendo Switch. Creep and crawl your way up the corporate ladder of a bizarre insect megacorp that's buzzing with mysteries. In this surreal RPG, you'll take on the role of Moth Cubit, an ordinary employee who's recently received a promotion. But this is no time to celebrate. The threat of a mysterious event known as the final process is looming. Can Moth and his fellow bugs save the company? Or even reality itself? As you investigate the cramped cubicles and creepy corridors of the corporation, you'll befriend bugs from all walks of life, each with a story that's interwoven with moth. Not everyone will be friendly, though. Take on enemies in verbal showdowns with multiple dialogue choices and be sure to bring your fighting words. Your choices influence how the story progresses. There are multiple secrets, quests, and endings to unravel. So experiment and see what happens. Moth Cubit buzzes onto Nintendo Switch next spring. Hey guys, we're AJ and Dio from Tokyo Productions in Indonesia. We're part of Coffee Talk team, and with our much missed friend and the original creator, Fahmi, 
we created Coffee Talk and Coffee Talk episode two. Hey everyone, I'm Anna Winterstein, a game designer and a writer. I was the co-writer of Coffee Talk Hibiscus and Butterfly alongside Junkie at Toge. Hi, I'm Kimitaka Ogawa, a writer and uh, English to Japanese games translator. I had the privilege to work on the Japanese translations of both Coffee Talk games. Today, we are thrilled to announce that we are partnering with Coders to expand the Coffee Talk world. We've been hard at work over the last year to come up with a story that retains the cozy elements Coffee Talk fans are fond of, but at the same time brings something new to the table. And now, we're very proud to announce an exciting new game for Coffee Talk fans. Coffee, Coffee Talk, Talk Tokyo! Tokyo. downloadable content that will take you to new and unexpected places. Discover a miniature clockwork world in the Sea of Stars Throws of the Watchmaker DLC. Gear up for a journey full of oddities and wonders in which Valir and Zale will have to play by new rules to put a stop to a cursed carnival. Zale will transform into a skillful juggler while Valir will dazzle as an acrobat. Together with new playable character Artie, they'll explore new areas and battle through dangerous dungeons in their quest to save the world of Orlidge. A malevolent spectacle awaits when this free DLC for Sea of Stars launches on Nintendo Switch next spring. Hey, get out of my swamp! Sorry, Amber. But just like onions, this swamp has layers of dirt that need to be blasted away. Ugh, fine. I'm ogre it anyway. A muddy good time awaits in the Shrek Special Pack paid DLC for Power Wash Simulator. Feel like an all-star as you wash away the grime covering five fairy tale maps from the Shrek universe, including Shrek's very own swamp and the Dragon's Lair. Don a shiny suit of armor with a new night-themed character model and get your power washing game on when the Shrek Special Pack DLC makes a splash on the Nintendo Switch system this fall. Hi, I'm Sam. And I'm Toby. Our team has been working on a new game called Morsels. You play as a mouse fighting against the forces of wicked cats, using magical cards to transform into a bunch of weird little monsters. It's a challenging roguelike set in a grungy, whimsical world. When I first pitched Morsels four years ago, it was a simple top-down shooter, which is a genre I love. Since then, with the help of Sam and our programmer Higgy, we've been able to turn it into something much cooler and night efficient. I hope when people play Morsels, they enjoy the frenetic action, but are also charmed by the game's personality. Please enjoy the first ever trailer for our strange little game. Thank you.
they say home is where the heart is. And that's especially true for this next game. That's right. Household objects, appliances, and even concepts turn into eligible love interests in Date Everything, a game in which you can, in fact, date pretty much everything. With 100 dateable characters, there are plenty of unconventional partners to choose from. Fall madly in love with Cabrizio the Cabinet. Become besties with Shelly the Shelf. Or come to despise Doug. Your, uh, overwhelming, overwhelming sense, sense of, of existential, existential dread. dread. Um, I think I'll pass on Doug. Can I fall in love with a lamp? No way! Lux the lamp is all mine! But did you know that you could even date the game itself? Why don't I introduce you to Textbox Chan? Engage in flirtatious, branching dialogue with these fully voiced characters as you get to know them and form meaningful relationships. Perish the thought, swashbuckler. I dry as quick as my wit. Bring your best dating game because your choices could result not just in love, but also in friendship or even disdain. Find the object of your affection when Date Everything launches on Nintendo Switch October 24th. Hi, I'm Sienna, the lead artist on Peglin. And I'm Dylan, the game designer of Peglin and the founder of Red Nexus Games. The two of us created the first version of Peglin at a game jam in 2019. The theme of the jam was fall, and we wanted to create something fun and physics-y. We ended up creating the first version of Peglin's battle system. When the pandemic started, working on Peglin became a fun and creative escape. We made cute places and enemies for our little goblin friend to explore. We then added two of our friends to help speed up development, and now four years later, we're a team of seven, and we're excited to bring Peglin to Nintendo Switch. The dragons have been stealing your gold for as long as you can remember. It's time to delve into the heart of their lair and exact your revenge with the power of pegs. In this roguelike pachinko-inspired RPG, you'll aim orbs and hit pegs to deal damage in turn-based battles. The more pegs you hit, the more devastating the blow you'll deal to your enemies. Bounce your way to victory with a variety of different orbs. Some can split into multiple copies. Others will pierce both pegs and enemies and some will even heal you for every peg you hit. The pegs themselves have some peculiar properties too. They can explode, help you unlock the critical power of your orbs, and more. With careful planning and aiming, you can create some spectacular combos. Relics will radically change your game too. Equip these rare passive power-ups to prevent lethal damage or turn pegs into bombs. Just to name a few. Each run presents new opportunities for possible combinations. Teach those dragons a lesson when Peglin bounces onto Nintendo Switch as a timed console exclusive later today. Okay, follow my lead and watch out for the caterpillar. We're doing great so far. Hey, careful, there's a, uh, Andrew! <laughs> Oops, let's try this again. Scoot, scoot. And jump! Oh, good thing we're tied together. Look, a key, let's grab it. Hey, don't jump on my head. Let I'm me... going in. Oh. All right, let's slow it down. And jump. Got it. Yay! We make a great team. Now let's try it with eight players. Oh boy! As you can see, cooperation is key in this puzzle platformer. Up 
to eight players need to work together to navigate levels full of ledges, cliffs, and other obstacles. Use strategic stacking, coordinated movement, and puzzle-solving skills to find all the keys and reach every level's exit. There are more than 60 levels, and each one can be completed no matter how many players you have on your side. Think it'll be a walk in the park? Think again! Even greater challenges await in dark mode, where your skills and your friendships will be put to the ultimate test. Get ready for multiplayer mischief when Pico Park 2 jumps onto Nintendo Switch as a timed console exclusive later today. Can't get enough indies? Here are some more titles headed to the Nintendo Switch system in the near future. for today's show. Hey, where'd you get that pizza? I found it in that tower over there. What tower? For today's Indie World. We hope you enjoyed today's showcase. As always, a big thank you to our Indie community and partners making games for Nintendo Switch. Follow our official Indie World account to stay up to date on all things Indie on the Nintendo Switch system. Stick around for more exciting news and updates in today's Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase, starting right now. Until next time, Happy gaming! Hello everyone! Welcome to today's Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase. In this presentation, we'll be focusing on Nintendo Switch games launching in the second half of Testing. 2024 from our Testing. publishing and development Testing. partners. Was that muted? Okay, let's get into the headlines. Okay. These games are falling into place. Tetris? Is this a Tetris game? Yeah. Celebrate the 40th anniversary of Tetris with a compilation of historic games. 
Tetris. Experience the 1988 Famicom version of Tetris. Chain combos using explosions in Tetris 2 plus Bombless. Use special moves to win in Tetris Battle Guided. And more in this interactive museum, including the games shown here. In addition, enjoy the brand new Tetris Time Warp, where you'll jump between gameplay styles from across the series. You can also watch new documentary clips about the history of Tetris and its key players. Tetris Forever drops onto the Nintendo Switch system this year. One like four months left. Plus, the oh. NES version of Tetris is coming to Nintendo Switch Online this winter. We're going like four and be on the lookout left. for a Tetris 99 Maximus Cup event, also coming this winter. There's only four months left Speed in the, into uh, the unknown. In the uh, month, they so better not release day soon. Journey to the galaxy's depths in this high-speed sci-fi adventure. After receiving a mysterious distress signal, you'll venture through a massive alien world to reunite with your beloved. Ride the stylish hoverboard to explore stunning landscapes filled with all sorts of alien structures. From scorching sands to wavy waters, each area will challenge your traversal skills. Along the way, you'll face enemies in frenetic melee combat. By unlocking skills and combining different abilities, you can find more creative ways to overcome foes. You can also customize the hoverboard to match your riding style, solve puzzles, and gather resources to boost its speed, steering, gravity, and more. Whether you're racing through terrain at high speeds or in the throes of combat, the hoverboard will be there to help you. Leave no stone unturned as you explore every corner of this vast planet. You never know what or who you'll find. Star Overdrive launches as a timed exclusive on Nintendo Switch next year. Do whatever floats your goat. Goat simulator. Welcome to the vast island of San Angora, where you'll take on the role of a goat. We're not kidding. In this sprawling sandbox adventure, you'll headbutt, lick, and explode your way across the island. Wreak havoc on anything and everything you find. Want to drive around town? Join a yoga class? Antagonize the locals? You can do all of that and more. Complete quests and gain karma to progress the story and unlock customization options. From fashionable nonsense like floral shirts and inflatable tubes to goat variants, including tall, angry, and even tasty goats. So buckle up and grab your fashion style by the horns. And you're not the only belligerent Billy around here. Unleash all sorts of bad mischief in two-player online or couch co-op. Hope you're ready to hoof it, because the digital version of Goat Simulator 3 rams its way onto Nintendo eShop later today. The physical version of the game launches on Nintendo Switch this November. Mm. Here's a rapid-fire mix of first reveals and game updates coming to Nintendo Switch. Bikini Bottom, your playground. Is this SpongeBob? <laughs> no, this is Patrick. The silly sea star from SpongeBob SquarePants stars in this physics-based sandbox adventure. 
Bikini Bottom is your oyster. Make some hilarious mayhem by performing whimsical skydives, digging up treasure in the dump, or even blowing off steam in Mrs. Puff's rage room. Experiment with items you find, from exploding pies, to paint tubes, to make the world more Patrick-y. And he's not the only familiar face here. Take on comical challenges from SpongeBob, Sandy, Squidward, and more. Buckle up. Hey, who turned out the lights? Step into Patrick's shorts and the inner machinations of his mind. When SpongeBob SquarePants, the Patrick Star Game launches on Nintendo Switch October 4th. Pre-orders begin later today on Nintendo eShop. How is this show still going? Ready for your How very own been? personal trainer? Okay, let's get started. Ready. One, two, jump. The latest entry in the fitness boxing series is punching its way onto Nintendo Switch. Newly added features make it easier to train more regularly. Use Quick Workout to jump into an exercise program right after launching the game. Right. But it looks like you've got more in you. Once you're done, try going the distance. Along with an extra workout. Mm. With mitt drills, you'll practice with your instructor at your own pace. Looking good. And in sit fit boxing, you can complete exercise programs while seated for a different training experience. 30 brand new songs are included. There are also six instructors, including two new ones. Plus, you can change their hairstyles. Let them motivate you as you work toward your goals. Okay. Fitness Boxing 3, your personal trainer, launches on the Nintendo Switch system December 5th. This Wait, is, is Capcom versus to SNK? Remember. Eight Capcom fighting games are brawling their way onto Nintendo Switch in one collection. Wait, they're making another the one? Roster of games. Capcom vs. SNK Millennium Fight 2000 Pro. Capcom vs. SNK 2 Mark of the Millennium 2001. Project Justice. Capcom Fighting Evolution. Street Fighter Alpha there. 3 Upper. Yeah, Plasma Sword, Nightmare of Pilstein. Never heard of Power Stone. And Power Stone 2. Bro! Each game has its own training mode and is playable online. You can also visit the museum to enjoy artwork and music from each game. Capcom Fighting Collection 2 launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Mm. Plus, mm. jump into the fray when Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics Hyper Combos its way onto Nintendo Switch September 12th. Digital pre-orders begin later today on Nintendo <laughs> eShop. The physical version of the game launches on Nintendo Switch November 22nd. Oh, all right for the physical edition. Next, please take a look at oh, this. Oh, I gotta wait two months? I'm listening to my voice. I'm listening to my voice. I'm listening to my voice. You know what? It's good to pre-order the physical because if they do list it, then at least you still have the discs. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, すべて滅びたと思っていたが正しいことって何絶対に許さない身の程知らず愚か者今日はそうただのご挨拶ですとも。これが私の全力。どうか真相を解き明かして。
hope you're looking forward to the newest entry in the Atelier series, featuring a brand new protagonist. All right, let's see some more headlines. Adventures and allies await in these Nintendo Switch games. HD remasters of the first two Suikoden games are coming to Nintendo Switch in one bundle. Meet and befriend up to 108 allies in these turn-based RPGs. During your travels, you can strengthen your home base and expand your spheres of influence while fighting for your cause. This collection adds new support features like the ability to speed up combat and automate battles with a single button. Suikoden 1 and 2 HD Remastered, Gate Rune, and Dunan Unification Wars launches on Nintendo Switch March 6, 2025. The HD 2D remake of Dragon Quest 3 draws near. After gathering your companions and selecting their vocations, you can now customize their appearance, voice, and more. With the new Monster Wrangler vocation, you can use monster-like abilities to fight enemies and heal allies. There may also be places where you can put monsters to use, but that's for another time. Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake ventures onto Nintendo Switch November 14th. Pre-orders begin later today on Nintendo eShop. Three Castlevania games originally released on the Nintendo DS system, Dawn of Sorrow, Portrait of Ruin, and Order of Ecclesia rise again in a single collection. Arcade classic Haunted Castle is also included, featuring the original and a reimagined version. Plus, there's a gallery that includes exclusive art and a music player. Castlevania Dominus Collection launches on the Nintendo Switch system later today. Build something you believe in. The award-winning strategy series returns with Sid Meier's Civilization VII. Rune seven was of one of days. many legendary historical figures, including newly added leaders such as Queen Himiko. Friendship is her strength, and she can initiate diplomatic endeavors that help you research new technologies, expand your territory, establish your empire across the map, and conquer or cooperate with rival civilizations. You can even create your own path through history by choosing different civs with each new age. In the modern age, you can evolve your empire into Meiji Japan, known for its scientific strength and military force. Plus, you and your friends can see your kingdoms collide in online or local play. Can you create an empire that stands the test of time? Turn the page on a revolutionary new chapter when Sid Meier's Civilization VII launches on the Nintendo Switch system February 11. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Forge Bonds Transcending Wait, Time. Tales of Graces? Celebrate the 30th anniversary of the Tales of series with a remaster of the action RPG, Tales of Graces F. When the protagonist Asbel right. and Prince Richard meet Sophie as children. We will always be friends. The three soon become lifelong friends. Several years have since passed. With their strong friendship and desire to protect their loved ones, the now grown-up trio get entangled in a conflict that will determine the fate of the world. This remaster adds enhancements like destination icons and toggling enemy encounters, as well as downloadable content from the original game. Tales of Graces F Remastered launches on Nintendo Switch January 17th. Oh, rest in peace, Musumi Namata. Adorable adventures, one cozy bundle. Namco sure is remastering every Tales game except for the pre Symphonia ones.
But yeah, I guess like that Tales of Arise money certainly helped them out. More help is wanted. Think you've got what it takes to manage this perilous pizzeria? Test your skills and your nerves in this first-person horror game. As the newest employee of Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, you'll have plenty of job duties, such as helping performers prep for a show in the Pizzaplex Salon, getting high scores by playing nostalgic arcade minigames, and hopping on attractions like a log ride. Sounds easy enough, right? But you'll be doing all of this while avoiding animatronic atrocities along the way. Become a Fazbear Entertainment Superstar in Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted 2, launching on Nintendo Switch this holiday. And if you're looking for more adventures in the Mega Pizzaplex, help Cassie find her friend and escape the ruins in this free story DLC for Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach, launching on Nintendo Switch this holiday. Let's check out some Nintendo Switch games launching in time for the holidays. Okay, yeah. Sounds September. Next month? Okay, yeah. The demo for that is available right now. Welcome to the eastern nation of Azuma. After a calamity struck, the energy sources known as runes ceased to exist, oh, wait, and yet. the land fell into decline. In this fresh this. take on the Maybe. Rune Factory series, step into a bigger adventure than ever before. As an earth dancer, you'll channel the spiritual powers of nature through dance. Use the sacred drum to help crops grow faster and the sacred parasol to summon rain. These treasures and your earth dancer abilities can revitalize the land. Restore this once fruitful region to cultivate fields, construct houses and more to revive nature and establish prospering villages. Venture through the enchanting lands of Azuma, but beware, monsters may lie in wait. Harness your Earth Dancer abilities to confront them and restore certain monsters to their human forms. As you settle into village life, get to know the community around you and deepen your relationships to find friendship or even romance. Who knows, a wedding could even be on the horizon. Experience a beloved series reimagined. Uh, let's bring you die. In Rune Factory Guardians of Azuma, launching on Nintendo Switch next spring. Next will be our last announcement. Please take a look. <laughs> Immerse yourself in the story that started the epic saga in Yakuza Kiwami. 
Meet Kazuma Kiryu, a Yakuza accused of murdering his clan's patriarch, and Haruka, a young girl on the run, two individuals whose fates intertwine. Set in Kamurocho, Japan's largest entertainment district, Kiryu must navigate the twists and turns of Tokyo's underworld. Oh, he's only just the first one. Rival gangs. Swap between four fighting styles in real time combat. Fight bare knuckle or arm yourself with makeshift one? weapons and go up against anything in your way. There are also plenty of distractions to be found in Kamurocho. So take a break from brawling every once in a while. Discover how the epic series began when Yakuza Kiwami launches on Nintendo Switch October 24th. Dang. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct oh. Showcase. Thank you for watching. Oh, they actually putting they're actually putting the like a dragon games. Oh, are we getting the like a dragon games on the Switch now?